Good morning, my name is Adrian. I'm going to be your student physical therapist today and there's going to be three things we're going to go over in this video. The first thing is going to be hand hygiene and you're always, always, always going to do that before you interact with a patient. Second thing is going to be respiratory rate and I'm going to refer to this as RR throughout this presentation. And the third thing is going to be oxygen saturation and we're going to do that via pulse oximetry and we're going to refer to this as SpO2 throughout this. Alright, so our first thing is hand hygiene right here. Nice, good rub. Now I'm ready. All right, perfect. So we're gonna go into our first topic of respiratory rate. And I'm gonna start with a little uh, joke about what not to do when you're assessing respiratory rate. So the joke is when you write 16 respirations but you don't actually count them. <laughs> to begin about respiration, there are a few things that can influence um, the respiratory rate. That being age, body size, body position, and exercise. Environment, emotions or stress, and medications. Alright, next when assessing respiratory rate, we look at the rate, rhythm, and depth of the breathing. So the rate, a normal breathing pattern would be 12 to 20 breaths per minute. With rhythm, you do it as regular or irregular breathing. So if it stays in a consistent pattern or if you take some shallow breaths, some uh, long breaths, stuff like that and then your quality of breathing is either deep or shallow. All right, so now we're gonna actually assess respiratory rate. And when I'm doing that, I don't wanna actually tell the patient I'm watching their breathing because they could alter their breathing pattern if they know that. So I'm gonna actually go up to the patient and ask her if I can just check the pulse on her arm real quick. And while I'm doing that, I'm not gonna actually keep track of the pulse. I'm just gonna be watching her breathing pattern, okay? So I'm gonna go over here. Hi, Courtney, my name's Adrian. how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. All right, so I'm just gonna take your pulse real quick today. Um, so if you wouldn't mind placing that left arm just right over here on that right shoulder. Okay. Good. Perfect. All right. Thank you, Courtney. So I got eight um, breasts in that 30 seconds. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna multiply that by two. And I'll show you how we'll document that. So respiratory rate, eight times two would be 16. And that was regular. And deep. There we go. All right, so now we're gonna go over, go over how to interpret the respiratory rate. So a normal breathing pattern is called eupnea, which is anywhere from 12 to 20 breaths per minute. So Courtney right here would fall in our uh, eupnea pattern because she had 16 breaths per minute. There's another category called bradypnea, which is slow, um, irregular breathing, which is less than 10 breaths per minute. And then on the other hand, there's tachypnea, which is greater than 24 breaths per minute. So that's a little um, faster breathing pattern. And then there's apnea, which is the absence of breathing. All right, next we're gonna do oxygen saturation via the pulse oximetry. So I'm gonna go back with our patient, Courtney. Hi, Courtney, how are you? Okay, good. So we're gonna clean our device. Awesome. All right, Courtney, so what I'm gonna have you do is you're gonna stick your finger all the way inside till you feel the very back of this. And then once you do that, you're gonna have your hand flat on the table, okay? Okay. All right, so let's place that finger right there. Feel the back? Mm -hmm. All right, flat hand. And I'm gonna press the on button. We're gonna wait for our reading. Perfect. All right, you can go ahead and take that finger off. All right, so now I'm gonna go document this. SPO2, 98%. All right, and our normal um, SpO2 is anywhere from 96 to 100%. So that's our normal rating. If it gets anywhere below 90, that's where we kind of get concerned and we want to provide some supplemental oxygen. 